Hi, Amy. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. So it's, this, I'm very excited for our chats. Me too. Great. So Sunday. So what normally happens on a Sunday, Amy? Um, I have my, normally I have my cello lesson and then it's kind of a, a relaxing day. I do try and practice again so that everything from my cello practice, I just can remember it for the week to come. And because on Saturdays I have music school, so we kind of relax on that day. So it's quite nice. Nice. So, um, Amy, would you like to introduce yourself to the audience? Um, I'm Amy Prince. I won the Virtuous Surprise in 2018 on my cello at the competition. And, well, I play cello. So. Yes. And that's our top prize. Right, the virtual surprise it's our like our first prize and also you are um would you like to introduce um for example you're a member of the national children's orchestra yeah yes i am and uh i do the national children's orchestra and i'm also a member of the national youth string orchestra uh nyso and i just became a member of the uh national youth uh choir great Britain. Uh, so I'm really ex excited to start doing that. Um, I also am a member of the Academy at the Royal Academy, but I'm going to the Royal College next year. So that's the junior department? Yes, the ju junior department. So it's, it must be a very busy musical life for you at the moment. It, it's quite busy. Um, I now, right now, I have a lot of time to practice because we're at home. Um, but my sister, she's even more busy than I am. So we, it's kind of nice. I can talk to her about it, and we kind mm. of experiences together. Yes. No, that's lovely. Um, so, Amy, because of um, we all we're all affected by what's happening because of COVID. And I'm sure, especially you are in so many groups, um, then you probably feel it a lot more. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about um, how everything has been for you and how you're dealing with it all? Well, um, it's quite hard because, um, so for the National Youth String Orchestra, because we won't go on our Easter camp and we probably won't be able our summer camp either um we all recorded ourselves and sent in video uh sent in videos and they attached them all together to create one large video so it's like we're playing in an orchestra it was, mm. it was difficult because you had to be really precise like just exactly on time and so you had to record a couple times over but except for that, it was really nice because even though we weren't together, we could hear ourselves together playing in an orchestra. And I really like that feeling. Um, for my national youth choir, um, we they would just set us daily challenges so that we would keep our voices like nice and fresh so that so that our voices wouldn't get like tired because we're not using them as much because we're not in choirs anymore. Um, mm quite nice because we could send in our challenges and they could see what we were doing. Um, for our quartets, it's it's really hard because we kind of have to, we have to mute ourselves when we go on Zoom. So they can't actually hear you playing all together. You can hear yourself, which is, I, I really like hearing myself play with other people. It's just difficult because they can't hear you playing. So yeah. It sounds very interesting because I, I also follow um, the groups that you are in on social media um, and it seems like everybody's doing, trying to do as much as they can to keep, um, you know, like people like you, the young musicians engaged as much as possible. And I think, um, you know, some amazing results are achieved, but of course there's the challenge of the internet connection, um, etc. 
Yeah. So um no uh just some technical uh can I close this comment because um my musical child thank you so much for sending this question in um shall we answer the questions at the end Amy okay yeah so um we'll make a note of this question thank you so much um for sending in the question my musical child it's just um I'm noticing that the comment is blocking Amy's face and would love to see. Amy's face. So um, I'll click this cross and see what happens. Oh, um, can I? Oh, <laughs> I will turn off commenting for now so that we can see Amy's face. And then for anyone who wants to send in questions, please do, but use the, uh, the little question mark at the bottom. Then you can send in questions and we can still see them. Yeah, great. Um, so, Amy, um, because I know, as you mentioned, that your sister is even busier than you are, w which group um, is she in at the moment? Um, right now, she's she just finished NCO last year, so she she got to have her last main performance with all her friends, and it was really nice. I watched that, mm. but she. In the seniors of the National Youth String Orchestra, and it's her first year, so they also did the video. Um, they just did more technical pieces together. Um, yeah, she also does uh, the Royal College on the weekends, and I know sometimes it's a bit hard for her, but we actually started trying to play a duet together because we're not having so much of that experience with other people. We mm. did it, but we kind of stopped doing it. And then we, we kind of started doing it again because of quarantine. And I think it's because we're together and we just get to play with each other. Mm. Oh. Lovely. And it, it's, I, 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 um, I wish I had a sister and I wish even more that I had a musical sister as well, because it would be so nice to, you know, play music. Um, has it been a very helpful experience to have your sister around, probably much more than normal? Um, I think it's really nice to have her around, not just for music, for mm. everything. Otherwise, yeah. what I would do, because mm. it's just, I rely on her so much for having human contact. And <laughs> it's, it's, I think it's really brought, brought our music together because sometimes she listens to me and she gives me like because I don't have so many other people like outside giving giving me tips except my teacher so it's quite nice to listen to her and see what her like approaches to my piece mm. and yeah I really appreciate it because I, I think she's really good and I really look up to her so oh fantastic yeah I really enjoy it yeah so what, what instrument does she play um, she plays the violin, so we play cello violin duets, and she also plays the double bass, which is behind me. Ah, lovely. All right, yes, yes. Great. So um, it, it sounds like you've had a very, during this lockdown, you've had a very sort of musical time and you've been kept busy. Um, do you find that you, because now, for example, I find that I suddenly have so much time um, do you find the same that you can pr probably focus a little bit more in some areas of your practice? Um, I think I'm definitely focusing a lot more technical, doing a lot more technical practice, but also because I have lots of time, I'm going through old pieces or I'm just like, I've been playing Bach and I'm just playing through the whole suite, which I've, which I don't normally do because it's like, mm -hmm. I have this um I really enjoy practicing in lockdown because I feel like I've accomplished something even though it's quite small I feel like after I've practiced I feel like wow today I managed to get this done and it just it, it's a nice feeling because you don't really feel otherwise that you've that you've really done much else I I just I, that's how I feel when I practice yeah, and when you do, for example, when you focus on your technique, do you do kind of small, s small sessions, like half an hour, I want to focus on this? Or do you um, allocate yourself with 
oh, this whole morning I want to do this? Um, I just, I work on technical things which I know are like quite relevant to me, like right now. Um, I don't set myself an amount of time. It's how long it takes me to get it good and, and well practiced and well rehearsed. Um, yeah, I don't really set myself an amount of time. Sometimes I've got school and cello, so sometimes I will do like half an hour of practice and then I'll come back and do extra time, um, mm. but, like classes in between. But except for that, I don't really set myself an amount of time, especially for technique. I see. So when you work on your technique um, on the cello, it's an instrument that I just love. Um, so do you, for example, uh, on the violin, sometimes I, sometimes the, the task could be as short as one bar. Um, you know, I just think I want to get this bar right. And because, well, everyone has different methods and ways to do things. Do you sort of work on smaller segments? Or do you work on bigger, bigger tasks? Um, I generally work on smaller segments, but also I'm doing a Elgar Cello Concerto. I'm doing the second movement. So I require like a really bouncy staccato bow and that's something I'm very good at. So I'm really trying to practice to get that up. So it's really doing like different techniques that I wouldn't normally do or have the time learn properly and it's quite nice because now I do have the time especially because uh, in that in that sort of piece I, it takes a lot of time and effort and technique which I'm actually getting to practice because I have lots of time yeah so what's your cello lesson like at the moment um, once a week. it's once yeah it's once a week on generally Sunday mornings and um it's quite nice. I've started a couple new pieces in quarantine, which is hard because it's he's not always there. He can't see everything that he would see in when when you're face to face. But mm -hmm. we're getting things. We're getting. We're really working. I think we're both working really hard to make sure that we can make the most of the time that we have especially because sometimes the internet cuts out or they don't get to hear something or it takes longer to connect so i think we're really trying to maximize our time together yeah and in terms of um, your quartet you mentioned that you are doing quite a lot of things together um through zoom and other technologies that's great. So what would you say the balance would be that your chamber music and group playing now probably take up half of your time? Um, we get together on the on Saturdays and uh, we, I mean, it, it, it's hard because you can't do like too much dynamics and, and like phrasing and stuff together. So mainly it's getting us together that we like understand the rhythm. Um, it doesn't take, we have the same amount of time that we would normally have uh, at music school, but I, I think that we actually maximize that we use the time a lot better and we know that we can't like mess around because it's even harder when you're online, especially mm -hmm. if have that long. And we, we're all just trying to make sure that we can play together and get it right because otherwise we have to wait another week. <laughs> so Amy, what are you, um, most looking forward to at the moment because um, I know um, that's a problem with a lot of people. So many things are cancelled, the concerts, etc. So um, what are you looking forward to in the future future? I'm looking forward to going back on camps, like week-long camps with my friends and with like tutors like NCO and NYGB and NYSO because I, I just really miss that sort of connection where you can just like get down and really focus on playing without any of the distractions. Mm. Um, uh, I'm really looking forward to the end of term concerts that my teacher always hosts and you get to hear what everyone else has been practicing. And um, so far we haven't missed any, but it's coming to the end of term and I really hope that we'll be able to do it like even via Zoom, but I'm really looking forward to doing that because it's always great to hear the older students and hear how amazing they're getting.
Yeah. So you're a teacher uh, class at the junior academy or his private studio? Um, I te he teaches me uh, like privately on the side. Um, okay. Yeah, on, instead of on Saturdays. Great. So um, now that, um, you know, we have all these things going online and suddenly it feels like, um, you know, a lot of things that weren't possible are now suddenly possible. So sometimes that got me thinking perhaps, you know, in our music, we can also feel, or oh, maybe, you know, this is how we've always done things, but, you know, let me try something new and see if it works. Um, and I wondered because when I saw your performance back in 2018 at our competition, I felt a great sense of um, freedom. I, I felt that you were really free with your instrument, that you really moved as one. And I think that's what really moved um, the, the jury panel um, as a whole. Um, could you perhaps share that what, what, what sort of mindset that you have to enable you to be able to play so freely on your instrument? Um, I do get very nervous, like, <laughs> right before I play. I think, I think everyone does. I think not many people like to admit it, but I do, mm. I guess. Um, I kind of, but then when I get on stage, I kind of just remind myself that, like, I'm just playing for me, and, like, I, I, if I'm playing just to enjoy it, and I like to close my eyes because then I can just imagine that it's just me and I'm just the one listening to it and I just want to be like one with the music and really understand and it's quite nice because quarantine has allowed me to like really feel one with what I'm playing and really understand it like in deeper than I really ever have. Um, just to feel free is just to feel like you're not playing for anyone, they're not there, it's just you and the music and your instrument. So that's what I... Yeah, so but obviously it also helps that you have, you work on your technique so that when you're on the stage you feel very secure, that you have the, the foundation to be free, right? Um, so Amy, um, because you know you won our top award in 2018, and you really played, as I said, with such freedom and a lot of um, great musicality. Um, could you tell us? And and clearly, you are very good at um, presenting yourself um, on a stage or in an audition environment, because you got into so many, you know, national institutions, um, the NCO, the NYSO. Um, and why CGB. Um, so you're clearly a great communicator with the jury panel as well as the audience. Could you maybe share a few tips for other young musicians, how they could, um, you know, communicate better with the audience? Um, just make them feel like you're really there. Like make them feel like they're the ones playing and they're the ones they're playing it the way that like they really understand. Um, another way is it's different because some jury is like technical, some jury is like when you just feel really free and together with the music. I think the aim is that when you're at home, you're practicing technical, but when you're on the stage, just don't remember that and like play f with what you feel. Because I know from previous experience when I have like really been really worried about getting every single thing right, I don't really send across the message that I want to and I just don't feel as free and I think the audience can tell when you are kind of just a bit clenched up and worried about what you're going to be playing. So it's just when you're at home, practice like make sure that you're getting things right but when you're on stage just feel free and don't worry about it too much because when when you worry the audience can really tell via like what you're playing and how you're playing it i think that's my advice 
It's great advice. Um, so Amy, do you ever record yourself as part of your practice? Um, I never really used to unless I had to record something. But now, because we can't play face to face, I've started to record again. Um, I don't find recordings as, I find them a lot more stressful than playing live. Because when you play live, you know that this is your one chance and you just have to give it everything that you've got. But when you're playing with recordings, you're, you, you're like, oh, I can do it over and over again. I think recordings are very good for practice because you can see what you're doing wrong, but mm. they do get me a teeny bit worried when I record. I just, I, when I, when I hear the word record, I'm just a bit like, I, <laughs> I prefer live playing, but I do think that recording yourself is a really good way to see what, what you're actually playing instead of what you think you're playing in your mind. Um, mm. I think I think it scares most mu musicians. I think most musicians would say that live performances, because you you know that you have to give it your all, but recordings you kind of have that safety net that, like, if I don't get it right, I can just do it again. And also, I think musicians tend to nitpick what they've done. So even if it would even if they play as good as they would have when they're live they're like oh i can do this different no i need to do it again and i think that's also a problem that sometimes i have even if it would have been amazing live just that then i think oh no but i would have done that better so i need to record again I, there are upsides i think it's really good for practice but it's just a bit harder now because you have to do everything by recording basically or mm. on screen. I think it's even just like this. If I were to record this, I'd probably be going over and over what the answers I give. But when it's live, I just, I, I know that I have to speak like the way that I want to because you can't do it again. I just prefer doing it face to face if it's like live on a like Zoom call or something like that. That's just what I. Yeah. No. Yes, recording can be um, really challenging, um, but I think it's very beneficial. I was told many times by various professors that I should record myself constantly. And I think perhaps during this time when we don't have such easy access to be face to face with our teachers, then it's, um, it's, it's almost like you're your own teacher. If you record yourself and then watch, perhaps sometimes you see something that you don't really sort of realize that you're doing um yeah. could be very interesting so um so i know amy you are um planning to enter for this year's competition and this year's competition is a recording um competition um online do you um because everyone's everyone's on the same boat right everyone would have to send in a recording so what's your plan to make the best recording that you can my plan is to give myself like a time to do it and then when i tell myself okay you've only got like five more minutes you you need to get it right right here right now uh i actually i think i do it really well it's just that sort of pressure that i i think i i i i, I do quite well in when there's pressure um I think my plan is, like I said, give myself a time limit and then see what I have there. And if there's nothing that I feel would be really, really good to send in, then maybe take a break and do it again. Because I know it can be stressful in some people and you just need to sometimes say, okay, I need to take a break from sending it in. But also limit yourself to the number of times you can send it because I think or the number of times you, you want to record yourself. And then I think you really feel that, okay, this is my last chance. I need to, I need to do it. And you really just play from the heart. I, I, I think that's what my plan is to do. I think that sounds like a good plan. I think if I were to do it, um, if I had to, if I were to take part in the competition, I'd probably say to myself from now 
after the deadline for handing in the recording, I probably say two a day, so two takes a day. So no more than two, because I'm a little bit like you. I I go all crazy when I watch myself, and I think、uh, I need to do it a hundred times, and then you know you go into this really vicious circle.、Um, so I probably just do yeah two a day, and that's it. Yeah, I think I think that's that's a quite quite a good way of doing it because otherwise you just you pick apart everything and then you feel sometimes that you're just like not good enough to do it and then it it kind of it it also does sometimes bring down your self esteem when you when you just pick apart something that would have been really good in the first place because I think lots of musicians just think no we need to do better because、mm. a lot of music. They're、like perfectionists, and they're like, okay, no, we need to do it again because that one quaver was. <laughs> yes, yes, I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. That's me. <laughs> yes. So shall we,、um, Amy? Shall we see、um, any questions? I think we've got two. Okay. Let's see. Can you see them, or is it only me? No, I don't. I don't know if I can see them. So I can see them.、Um, oh, the first one. There was a first one. I think it was、um, something like.、Royal. Why did you? Yeah. So why did you? Was it? So yeah. Why、um, Royal College vs Royal、um, Academy for the Junior? So why? I guess why did you switch? Um. I just, I my my goes there, so I, I I always wanted to go there,、um, and I just I really like the people there, and like I really like the people at Ram as well. It's kind of a hard question,、um, but I I don't know. I just thought it was time for me to go in a different way with my musical education, and because. Also, my sister has all these wonderful stories about these people, and、um, I just I thought it was time to go in a in a different direction with my music, and、mm-hmm. I just the way to go because I think I'll really flourish there. I think. Yeah. No. Sometimes it really、um, is quite beneficial to perhaps change a teacher or change an environment, not because. It didn't work well before, but as a musician, I agree that you need something fresh every now and again to bring out new sparks. Yeah, let's see. Second question. Can you see? Yeah, we can see, but we can't see your face. Is there any anything musical you've done during lockdown that you would like to continue with afterwards? Um. I'd like to continue with the duet that I'm doing with my sister, because I it is quite nice. I mean, we do sometimes squabble when we don't know what's going wrong in the music, and then we're like, "No, you're doing it wrong."、Uh, but I do want to continue with it because it's nice. Ah, you've like blanked out of my screen. Um, Amy, can you still see me? Yo, you've、oh. gone like what? Oh, <laughs> I see what I did. Sorry, I flipped my screen. <laughs> I also want to continue with all the technical practice that I've been doing because I think that's really, really beneficial for me. Because before lockdown, I was kind of like, okay, I only have this amount of time, and I want to, I want, I really want to get onto my pieces, and I didn't always do so much technical practice, but I. Really want to continue with the technical practice that I've been doing. Yeah. Great. Let's see、um, the next question. Did. Yeah. Did winning the virtual award, I guess that's um your twenty eighteen, lead to any new opportunities? Um, it did. I was. I. Do I was, like, awarded. I guess I. Had a、um, masterclass with Jo Cole, and、um, it was really amazing because、uh, she kind of explained things in a way which I think really helped me begin to 
really understand and connect with my music because I think there's that point in every musician's life when they really feel like, wow, I, I can feel this connection between me and my instrument, which no one can take away from me. And I think that that masterclass is when it all began and I really started to feel quite seriously about, about my cello and I started to feel very connected to my cello in a, in a very different way than I had before. So. Oh, that's so lovely to hear, Amy. Yeah. I'm so glad that it helped you in that way. I'm really, really glad. I'm very happy to hear that. Um, so I think that's all the questions. Can you still see the question on the screen? Yes, I can. Um, how do I get rid of this? I can't can get rid of um, I'm trying to press this little cross, but it doesn't go away. <laughs> can you see your face? Yeah, I can. I just see my face. Like, I can't see above my neck. I can't look like a floating head. But it's okay. Um, wait. I want to... I, I want to get... Wait, no. Does that work? Does that... doesn't work. How do I, can anybody, does any, oh, there's a new question. Oh, there's a new question. Oh, it, no, it's just a dot. <laughs> oh, I'm not very um, uh, familiar with uh, this question and Q&A section. How do I end this? If anybody's watching, can you comment? Oh, I've turned the comment off. I will turn on the comment and could you please let me know how do I turn off this question? Turn off questions. What? Oh, yeah, it's gone. Oh, <laughs> great. Finally. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, so no, Amy, thank you so much for the answers. Um, shall we, because I know you've prepared something to perform for us. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to get back to Um, I will turn off the comments again, everybody, just so that we can see Amy. So, Amy, could you tell us what um, what piece you're going to perform? Oh, Ray's number one and two from his third suite, from his six suites for cello. Great.
Fantastic. Well done, Amy. Thank you so much. How long have you worked on this piece? Um, not that long. Maybe a couple of weeks. Um, I oh. box with like my teacher because we always do one box and then one other piece by another composer. Uh, so this time we had to do com pieces without piano. So we were doing a lot more Bach. So that's how that started. Great. So this is a new sort of lockdown new piece. Yeah, I played it to anyone except my family before. <laughs> oh, well, we're very honored. Thank you yeah. so much, Amy. Um, do you have any question for me? Um, not really. No. <laughs> well, if you do, just let me know. Email me or message me. I will. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. No. Thank you so much, Amy, for your time today, and thank you so much for your performance. You've um, given us a lot of really good ideas and advice. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. This this is really nice. I've I've never done this before, so I really enjoyed it. Oh. Yeah. No. Me too. Um. So uh, I hope your end of term concert will still happen. Hopefully, um, you know things will get back to normal ASAP. Great. Thank you. Pardon? I hope you, I see you soon with the competition. Someplace. Yes. No, I'm looking forward to it very much. Thank you yeah. so much. And and sorry for my bad connection. It's okay. Mine's gone. Yeah. No, thank you, Amy, and enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I will. Thank you. You yeah. too. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Bye. Bye, Bye Amy. Bye, everybody.